When you're gay, the LGBT community will be very, very supportive. They'll say you're perfect just the way you are and there's no need to really improve yourself other than being more flamboyant, being more liberal-minded, and most importantly, breaking away from cis-heteronormativity. You know, on the other side, the straight community, as in everyone who is not the LGBT community, you know, for the most part, this is a, just a generalization, just as the first part was a generalization, you know, they say that you're flawed just as everyone is, and that you should really work on yourself, sometimes to the point where it's hard to have a self-esteem unless you meet specific criteria. Personally, I think a mix between the two radically different types of mindset would be the healthiest. Nobody is perfect the way they are. Everyone has flaws. You know, everyone is a work in progress. And what are you basing perfection on in the first place? At the same time, we can't be so hard on ourselves because of our flaws that we are unable to reasonably function. Straight society can be pretty brutal on that sort of thing, especially from the masculine side of things. Now, let me be totally clear. I am not saying that LGBT people do not work on themselves as individuals. But the type of messaging you hear from the community is typically very unrealistically, enthusiastically joyful in a very fake way. You know, while claiming that it's all about expressing your genuine, authentic selves. Yes, be your true, authentic selves by being theatrical. You know, that being over the top is a good way to get over your issues. And I'm not going to claim that that doesn't work. You know, I'm sure it works really well for some people. It, if it didn't work well, so many people wouldn't be drawn to that kind of thing. So, you know, if it works for you, great. But a lot of people just kind of cringe at the whole thing. I mean, there are plenty of other methods that people can use to work on themselves. I understand we need positivity wherever we can get it. But when it feels fake and contrived, what does it really mean? How supportive can you really be when you're not being real? How genuinely supportive can you actually be if you're just telling someone that they're perfect the way they are? Perhaps I'm in just a strange mental space right now. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Thanks.